Good morning Manchester, it is 7.48 in the morning, we are at Shamble Square in Manchester City Centre and we are going to Wembley. <laughs> Right then, this is Stephen Elson. This is Full Time Devils. We are on our way to Wembley for the Manchester United Southampton EFL Cup final game. I cannot wait. I'm here with Abdul. I'm here with Andy. I've got Charlie in the back. We're on our way to go and pick Adam McCullough up. Let's get into it. Today's match is going to be a big one. It could be the first part of a cup treble. The garbage from the previous seasons would have been erased. And we are on a mission to uh, go to Wembley twice and uh, King Zlatan's going to rule in Sweden, in Stockholm, at the end of the season. Fingers crossed. For Southampton, I think I'm uh, really worried about one player for them, and that's Gabbiadini. I've watched him at Napoli, and I think the only reason they did let him go was because he didn't suit the system, the counter uh, attacking style. Napoli were playing with Insigne, Mertens, and uh, Callahan with uh, Hampshire behind him, and he didn't suit that role. So when he did join Southampton, and I said, if we play him in the uh, final, then he'll definitely cause us trouble. And I think he's scored four now in three games, or three and three, so he's definitely a dangerous player. And if he's already getting that amount of goals in the first few games, then we've got to watch out for him and we've got to keep it tight at the back. I don't think the lack of them playing matters. I think that they're building this up to be huge though, and that could either be a massive benefit for them or it could be a hindrance to them because there's obviously not that much experience in that Southampton squad of really, really big games and how to deal with big games. <laughs> I'm not sure what the manager's got in terms of experience of that sort of thing, but speaking to people in Southampton and around the club at Southampton, they are making this a massive, massive deal. I don't think they're, you know, amazing or, you know, even on the level of teams like West Brom this season, I think as long as we keep it tight at the back and we take our chances up there and we don't go on missing loads of chances because, like I said, they have got players that can take their chances if they have one all game then we should be fine and I'm going to go for a 3-2 prediction for myself. I've got Charlie here behind me. What do you think? That's a prediction, mate. Um, oh, can I set that off? Go. Oh, I'm not too... I'm not too sure about Southampton's attacking threat. However, I am confident that we will get the win today. And I think that it might be a 2-0 scoreline. Looks like someone hasn't had enough sleep here on the coach. Timothy for Cementa starts in central midfield for Manchester United. I think we all feel like the walking dead this morning. Yeah, yeah. Knackered. I got some sleep too, and I've got about seven hours, so I'm fine. The lad's there, Charlie's at the back. There he is. Hey, pal, how are you? What's happening? Cheers! Alright guys, so just poured a little bit of a shot, some coffee, I promise. Um, how far are we? We're about an hour away from Wembley now. Radio Gaz has blocked Stephen Allison <laughs> and Dave will probably block me very soon as we've just tweeted out that they've got spares. The only problem is they haven't. Um, but we're very close now, so uh, we're looking forward to this one. Boys, are we winning the cup or what? Yeah! 1995, losing 1-0 to Everton. It's a long way home if you lose a cup final. It really is. Didn't we also lose to Villa in the League Cup that year? That was 1994. Was it four? 94, we lost the double. We could have done a double-double, but it's a long way home if you lose a cup final. But that ain't happening today. Because Southampton will cause their own problems. Gabby Adini's on fire. Um, but they have got no Virgil van Dijk in their defence, so they're going to miss him. They've sold Fonte recently. Their defence is going to be a little bit weaker, but anyway, I'm going to get back to my shot. And uh, I'm feeling confident though. I'm saying 2-1 to United. I'll probably get nervous after this. I still think it's going to be 2-0. I've not changed my mind on that as of yet. Um, but Camille is always a threat. However, the rest of their attacking line, I'm not too scared about. With Van Dijk being out, I think there's a real big chance that we're going to win this game. And to be honest, I can't see us losing it so at all. You're in my house now, bitches. Andy, who's getting the nice, uh, who's getting the winning goal? Ibra. Who else? 
Uh, I want to see Anthony Marshall. I think Anthony Marshall is going to be a big part of this game. But ultimately, I think it's probably going to be his last time I guess the winning goal. You don't want to see in the team. Yeah. Big Dave, uh, Rune, sorry to say, you're going to have to sit on the bench for this one, mate. We need all our players. We need Pogba. We need Zlatan, Mata. Shame about Mkhitaryan. Hopefully, Carrick will come back. But uh, yeah, I want to see Marshall up front. I would really want to see him score some goals today. We need bro. Charlie, who's starting today? Um, it's difficult. Uh, I want to see. I want to see Zlatan starting, obviously. I want to see uh, Marshall starting. I, to be honest, I want to see. I want to see referee that coming on the last sixty then. minutes. So I want that to happen. When we're three 0 up. Yeah, yeah, to give us a boost of pace and to give him more experience. How many times have you been to Wembley recently? Charity Shield well, semi-final. We Fourth trip in a year. Yeah. We popped that. Pop the other prosecco. Charlie's dad's pop one. Back of the seats, wet. <gasps> it is a long way home if you lose a cup final. Really, is a long way home. Else, no. But today, it ain't happening because we are going back day. with a cup. We were sat there all day. Wembley, 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 Wembley. And that's where the coach will go that way. Wembley Arch. The coach there. will drive to the left. Stephen House in there. Subscribe to Stephen House and Yeah, it's better me and my flag at the semi final up here. It was on the cellar. Charlie, you still got that flag of mine from us in the semi final. Yeah. I took it all when I took it all. So basically, you tell Andy Tate, Andy, shut up, we're doing a vlog. And Andy just keeps chatting because Andy don't care. It's obvious, isn't it? The stick fell off it. Yo, yo, yo. So we're here. Back at Wembley Ooh. for the fourth time. Well, it's my third time. United's fourth time in a year. Um, everybody's here as well. Andy, where are you? Are you any more nervous now you've seen the arch? No, me. I'm quite confident and I'm quite proud. Don't I? I've got no nerves whatsoever. Might do come kick off though. Mm. What's the score? Final score prediction. I'm not asking you again now. 2 1, and Zlatan's going to get on the score sheet. And we're taking the cup back to Manchester. Happy days. Come on. Let's go. Keem, this is my brother. Most of you lot hates him. Score prediction. 2 1 United. Man of very few words. But it's same as Andy. Charlie. Certainly 2 0. Four. Can't see Ooh, everyone, Every everyone, United. you lot are making me nervous now. I think it's going to go to extra time. Why, why are you so nervous? As I always am. Steve. All right, lad. Uh, Where are you? We're all sped up. Any more nervous now you're here? No. Okay. Oh, no. We, if the you can get us in the yeah. moment, there's 12 of us. Yeah. Well, like, name me three 12? players that you do not want to see <laughs> this <laughs> oh, I want to see. I love Gooners, me. Love Gooners. Martial. <laughs> Eric Bay. You have to try it. And that's really it. Everyone else can be all right, you know what I mean? I wouldn't mind seeing Rooney to be honest. Last Rooney in place goes. of Mkhitaryan. Starting? Do you think Rooney could start given that he hasn't played any football recently? Interesting. I don't think he'll start. Look at the clouds up mint, look. Right then, time to go get a beer. We're here at Wembley. Loads of Southampton fans. Look at this guy over here. How much colours has he got? On? I think come coloured out. Let's go get a drink. We're just getting a beer. And we've noticed the pints are 550 Andy. Where are we going live? You're, take, you're taking your mortgage out? Yeah, I'll take two mortgages out, man. <laughs> this is what you call London prices. Thank you, Theresa May. Which way, which way, who's got the highest percentage? Is that how we're going, yeah? Yeah, yeah, we're going the highest percentage to see where we go from there. Keep. Keep. Look who's here. There's two Sams. I've got a better beer. It's like deja vu. Yeah, one sec. Um, so basically, we're here, we're at Wembley, Sam's arrived, so now we've got the full team. Sam, I've asked everyone their predictions, yeah. um, you know what, we've got a full house. Yeah. Everyone's saying we're winning. 3-0. 
Ibrahimovic, Mata, Pogba. Ooh, Mata. Matt, it, would, it would be nice for Mata to score one, wouldn't I it? Condolences it to the Mata family. It would be nice if he yeah. scored one today. Zlatan, he scored at his so first scored. appearance for United yeah. at Wembley. Same again. And two against uh, Southampton at Old Trafford. Oh, yeah. Loves a goal. And they've got no Virgil van Dijk, no, no. Jose Fante. They're going to struggle. No, or if, like, this is one of those horrible situations, though, where in theory we can't win. Because this is Southampton's biggest we're, game ever. And we're such favourites for the game. That if we win it, it's like, yeah, well, of course we did. Why well, wouldn't we have won the league? Callum what you Hampton. saw earlier. But if we don't win, oh, Southampton fans have shirts of 17 believe on. That's 17. how big Wembley. That's how big the cup final is for the Southampton fans. They've got Obviously a, big for us. They're having a, um, a like a city open top parade on Monday if they win. If they win, yeah. A friend of mine worked at Southampton and he informed me of that earlier today. Inside information. We've won leagues and haven't won trophies. Yeah, we won the FA we won Cup. We won leagues and didn't have trophies. We, we won, won an FA Cup and, and said, manager. and I'll get out. <laughs> Behind us. Speaking to uh, Reese today. He said he went with me at the Green Man, but I'm not here to chat with the peak from Freddy. How you doing? Just about to go into Wembley. Looking absolutely pumped. Manchester United versus Southampton in the FL Cup. For me, it's going to be 3 1 to Manchester United. I am so excited. Jess Lingard is going to be a big player in this game. I can just smell it now. Walking down Wembley Way, I think it's in. Might be Olympic Way. Either way, we're walking this way towards the ground. <laughs> Are you buzzing? Are you confident? I'm genuinely so excited. And I am confident. But it's still that annoying situation, and I keep saying it, where it, it, in theory, at this stage, it's no win. Yeah. Because if we win it, of course we're winning it. We're playing Southampton, we should win it. They've had a few injuries. We're, in theory, a much better team, much more expensive squad, so we should win it. Unbelievable, yeah. man. So we're winning a lot. Um, well, of course we're winning. Uh, but the thing is, what we've got here, we've got a strong Southampton team here. Don't forget, by the way, they've not conceded the goal. Oh, in the EFL, have they? Right, yeah, so that's but a good they one. they played like Liverpool and that, you know, they've had easy. Yeah, they've really, Liverpool, Liverpool teams. Oh, teams. No, no one Liverpool gives a went, fuck, did it? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, what we're going to say. Score. 3-1, one, mate. 2-1, 3-1, I think. 2-1, 3-1. Scruffy scorer. Scruffy game, I have no idea. Scruffy. Go. Got Man United. Go. Scruffy. 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 Go.
Let's get this party started. Yes. 
being central midfield, slotted out wide. Makes it work away from the middle. No, you go into that half time and turn you up and you say, great. Yeah. And Paul's just keeping focus. Yeah, it has been really bad. It's defensive, particularly Mark was right. You see him being laid down by the corner flag. He's embarrassed himself. Yeah. That's, 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 it's weird, I always think he's having a weird game. Jose Mourinho not liking what he's seen in the first half. Michael Carrick, in fact, is going to start the second half a substitution. United have lacked to control the tempo. They've lacked a little bit of uh, control in central midfield, and that's what Michael Carrick will bring. We're not convinced though, it? No, it's, uh, it's an interesting one. Obviously, uh, Lingard took the goal very, very well, but what Matter offers in a 4-3-3 on the right-hand side in terms of drifting into number 10 gives a lot more than Jess Lingard, so we're not sure the change is a bit right. I agree with the Michael Carrick. Yeah, bring him on, because we're struggling. Switch the whole possession to the midfield. Herrera and Popper feeling off scraps because the defence are looking to clear yeah. rather than play our way out. I don't know. We'll see. Saints just equalised and they absolutely deserve it in all honesty. I have no idea what we're doing. It's schoolboy defending this from United at the moment. And they could go in again here. You need to get a grip quick. So we've just got our beer at half time after a long ass queue. And it's already 2 2. Fuck's sake, better get back in. And that was pretty simple. Where's Gabaldini that turned it in? It was a good finish, but. Wake up! Proper frustrating this now, United. 20 minutes to go. All man reckons we've been shite. Can't really argue with that, can you? A load of reds warming up now. You've got Rooney, you've got Fellaini, you've got Flynn. Rashford was warming up. He's back in his seat now. There's no one getting stripped. 20 minutes to go. Need some inspiration or something from somewhere because it's not looking good at the minute. What's 10 minutes? You know, they've been absolutely awful, so. Yeah, it's, it's, it's one of those things where is this a terrible game of football? Probably not. But it's doing your nerves. Winning 5 0, great, you win the trophy. Yeah, yeah. But you probably don't do it as much as if we get a winner now. Free kick, Marcus Rashford standing on the halfway line, ready to come on. That I like, that's a positive intent from Mourinho. That I really think that the way we've been, we've been penned in by Southampton because of the way they've been lining up, and I think bringing Rashford in can uh, unsettle that a little bit. I think at least Jesse's just missed a good head shank. Rashford's coming off for Jesse. Come on, Reds, 15 minutes to go. Ten minutes to go, Rashford's on, but we've not really seen him on the ball, certainly not seen him getting in behind. We're having a bit of a period where we're on top at the moment and we're creating chances. We're going to need to capitalise and cut these shit mistakes out of the back because otherwise we're going to end up losing this game. Rashford's there mate, there you go. Turn him.
all they feeling fine. Got my United on my mind. Jose's playing the way like United show. Oh yeah. Something tells me I'm meant to something go. Manchester Wembley is red It's unbelievable, I said it was over again Just like at Everton, turned to Adam I told him, you know what, I, I can't watch this anymore And then just about, I just look up and Herrera's got the ball Perfect ball into Ibra And you know what, we didn't play well at all today But that's the Mourinho way Even when we don't play well, we get the result And that's what United are about it was a sloppy performance from him, for one of a better word. Um, I, was, I was gagging for Rashford to come on. I thought that was going to be the game changer. And ultimately, I think he, he affected the game, but not in a huge way towards the end. But I do think he contributed towards the game, yeah. getting the winning goal. Uh, I think him, him hitting that back line allows Zlatan to stop operating behind. Oh, space. Yeah, mate, he, he occupies the defender. And ultimately, I think that's why Zlatan managed to get on the end of a cross. And fair play to us. Who ate Helson? Who was it? I didn't even see it. So, Ander Herrera, for me, my man of the match, apart from Zlatan, he did an absolutely fantastic ball into the box for the goal. He won a lot of key tackles and he made a lot of oh, interceptions. There was, there was so there. many. Just Where a it was little, just frozen in little, just, little touches. Just a little nick on a ball. One down, two a goal. But defensively, we were shocking. Daily Blind, where was he today? We needed him, but it's done. Zlatan is the king. One trophy, two more to go. Let's have it. On a free for PSG, cost us fucking zero. Six foot five, hard as fuck, you get the red excited. Sing your city on your ass, cause we are Man United. We are Man United. We are Man United. Amazing, the act red for the fourth time in four games here at Wembley. Um, we've won the cup, you can't ask for more than that. Uh, Jose Mourinho's first trophy, Pogba's first trophy. Uh, well, I guess it's the first trophy if you can, unless you count the community shield. But I'm really happy with that, I'm so excited. Zlatan, he just had to be there at the moment and it was never going to be anyone else but him. Uh, when we went to 2-2, I was a bit scared we were going to drop the game, but we carried on and that's the Manchester United way. Even when we don't play well, we still get the result. So, just for my mum, um, back in the day in 2007-2008, season tickets together at Manchester United. We sung a lot of songs together. Mum, what do you think about the game? Very good. We were very lucky there. Star performance for you? And Herrera. He won seven more tackles than anyone else. <laughs> Here we go, we're sitting yeah, at Wembley on the floor up, again. Yeah. What? What's up? We got David, we're on the floor. Right. He thinks he's broke his foot. Right, we are on the motorway at the moment. I'm not sure whereabouts we are. We've stopped off at a service station. We've absolutely rinsed the service station for food and everything like that. We are on the way back to Manchester. We've got Peg Leg Dave in here, Peg pretending leg. whatever's going on. Our kids over there in the corner, Wagwan. trying to sleep. Abdul and Kim and Andy over there in the front. A lot of happy reds, but you know, keeping it real. On the way back to Manchester now. 
been a long day, but it's been a worthwhile day. Four trips, four wins from Manchester United recently at Wembley, and you can't ask for more than that. Right then, first home, myself and my brother. He's already gone, that's nice, isn't it? He's left me. Um, home now, can't wait to get back to my body. I don't know how your foot is. Dave, Dave's foot's broke, my back's broke, but what a day it has been. United have lifted the EFL Cup. It's not the biggest cup in the world, but it's a nice day out at Wembley, and hopefully something for us to build on. We weren't great today, but it's typical United. In a final, we still won it. See you in a bit. That is us. We are done, man. Home, actually not that late, to be honest. It's about one o'clock, so nowhere near as late as we have been when we've been coming home from Wembley. But that is us. Thank you for joining us on that little Wembley trip. I hope you like seeing things from our perspective during the course of today's game. Make sure to like, subscribe, get any of your comments in there. Thank you for watching. And maybe if we get past Chelsea, we'll have another Wembley semi-final to do it all again. Laters.